ऑनरेबल श्री अनूप चंद पांडे जी इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ऑनरेबल श्री अरुण गोयल जी ऑनरेबल इलेक्शन कमिश्नर इंडिया आर कोलीट्स एंड ऑन द डैस इज एक्सीलेंसी मिस्टर मोहम्मद इरफान अब्दुल रहमान इलेक्शन इलेक्ट्रल कमिश्नर ऑफ मॉरिशस मिस्टर मैनुअल डी सिल्वा चेयरपर्सन इलेक्शन कमिश्नर अंगोला चेयरपर्सन इलेक्शन कमिश्नर विनिया President and CEO IFES, Mr. Banbury, representatives of International Organization IDEA, Excellencies, Chairpersons, Presidents, Chief Election Commissioners, Deputy Chairpersons, Vice Presidents, Commissioners, Members, from fellow election management bodies from Angola, Armenia, Croatia, Georgia, Indonesia, Mauritius, Prague, and Suriname. Delegates from EMBs of Australia, Chil, Fiji, Kiribati, Nepal, Peru, Philippines, Excellencies, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, Charged Affairs Members of Diplomatic Corps from Costa Rica, Jamaica, Philippines, Cape Verde, Palau, Serbia, and Ghana. Shri Dharmin Sharma, Director General, and his entire ECI team. Very good morning. and namaste to all of you a very warm welcome to new delhi it's a pleasure meeting you again at a time when you all can join us in this national voters day dedicated to the voters of the country which would be celebrated on 25th and would be graced by the honorable president of india and also this coincides with the republic day celebration on the 26th of january where you we where we display the socio cultural diversity of india and economic technical strength as well friends we have made arrangements for you to watch both the programs you can see glimpses of almost entire country on behalf of the commission i personally invite you to attend both the functions all arrangements have been made and will ensure that your uh, visit to these two functions and watching it would be enjoyable it's an honor and privilege for election commission of india to host this second international conference on use of technology and election integrity i am happy to announce that with a collaborative approach we have a participation from over 17 countries emb's along with international idea as a very valuable partners we are privileged to have mauritius greece and ifs as our colleagues before i start let me briefly recap our interaction during the first conference organized by us around 3 months back where we had detailed discussion on role framework and capacity of emb's providing insights on emb's organizational structures and capacity building of emb's not only to conduct elections professionally but to enhance their capacity to discern the future and indirect threats to their credibility were discussed threadbare the outcome document of that session was also released copy of which is available for those who have not attended last time or could not see the circulated copy so this would just connect you to the first conference those copies are available here friends use of technology which is vital vector for success of any emb in terms of data capture its maintenance its purity and its security are all essential for the civil registry functions that is preparing and maintaining electoral rolls and conduct of elections that the emb's perform emb's are no doubt deploying appropriate technologies in three broad verticals for connect and ease of voters so the entire technological interface with the voters the second with the political parties and the contestants how do they file their nominations how it is easy it is for them how do they file their expenditures statements and all and third vertical is for the election management the entire machinery which gets involved into the election management that's the third vertical including the logistics and security we have Suomoto taking up the job of compiling best technological practices adopted by the EMBs and election managers world over 
and would like to shortly unveil a booklet on global initiatives in the use of technology in elections, which is a compilation of the best technical practices of which are adopted by various EMBs and are as available in the public domain. Friends, selection is the process of actualizing representative democracy. It is a means of peaceful change in leadership by the people. Apart from being free and fair, transparency is a vital feature of any election. An absence of these questions the validity of the outcome. Hence, various democracies aim to improve the quality of their elections. And in today's world, technology has taken the center stage as its application ensures a smooth, organized, and successful elections. EMBs world over and election commissions in particular have used technologies successfully in primarily four dimensions. Enhancement of efficiencies in terms of time, distance, volumes, and managing complex relationships within various facets of electoral steps to deliver credible election outcomes. Over the last seven decades, ECI has also developed new skills and is constantly striving to widen the inclusive framework that is strengthening the voting experience and the process. Innovation along with engagement of technology in all parts of the polling process has now become a distinct feature of elections in India. Our national elections today involve programming of battery-operated non-networked EVMs with BB pads, allowing voters to verify his or her vote at about 1 million polling stations and this is extremely, apart, other than other, other, other things, this is highly environment friendly. Avoids the wastage of paper. Election Commission of India has used digital platforms by developing customized applications for voter empowerment. Complaints of electoral malpractices on ECI C Vigil app are fast paced through such platforms. However, as was again noted in the first conference, voters who are so unable will only retain the trust in EMBs or the election authorities if the response to the said complaints or concerns or grievances is prompt and effective. Under this application, we capture the longitude and latitude of the complainant and we respond after inquiry within 100 minutes. So this is the power of this particular thing and it is involving our citizens to tell us what is happening. Technology platform for grievance redressal can thus fast track the redressal and response process. Under this Vigil app, other than this Vigil app, we also have developed a mobile app for the persons with disabilities. They can book any facilitation they want at the polling station. They can also opt for voting from their home. That's what we empower to the persons with disabilities and also to the voters who are 80 plus in the age. The application has also accessibility features, a feature towards inclusivity. ECI also extensively uses technology in achieving its core principles of dis disclosure and participation. Every time, every process of the election, starting from the declaration of the schedule to the counting, processing, movement of machines, logistics, everything is on the website of the commission and at every stage the political parties participates, media participates. So that disclosure and transparencies are always, always the core principles and duly, duly supported by the technology through various applications. Friends, intersection of technology with the role of VMBs in terms of visibility has been is hugely impacted by the new media or what is described as social media. The sheer scale and speed with which the social media can disseminate the facts and views, fake news, has propensity to overwhelm other aspects of technology in the election management. Our endeavor towards retention and deepening of democratic space through credible electoral outcomes worldwide stands at a cusp. The onslaught of a counter-narrative has serious potential to undermine election integrity and thereby the very democratic process. Unconstrained by underpinning of moral and legal spaces which govern EMBs, EAs, role and framework 
एंटी डेमोक्रेटिक चैटर यूज इज टेक्नोलॉजी एज एन अफेक्टिव टूल ऑफ इट्स ट्रेट दे फो टेक्नोलॉजी विच इन इट्स सेल्फ हैज द पोटेंशियल टू एड टाइम कॉस्ट एंड वॉल्यूम एफिशियंसीज बिकम्स द पाइवट विच ई एम बीज ई एज नीड टू एम्ब्रेस टू प्रोटेक्ट द वॉल ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी हंड्रेड्स ऑफ फेक मीडिया वीडियोज कॉन्टेंट आर लोडेड एंड सर्कुलेटेड बिफोर एवरी इलेक्शन टू विशिएट द मीडिया स्पेस they continue to linger even after the elections are over especially those which attack key core election domains as these core areas do not have a shelf life and are critical for every election such fake content crops up every time a citizen voter intends to search on the subject the disturbing trend is manifest where disruptive elements plan in anticipation and attempt after public perception through building up of deep fakes based narratives and then repeating them dexterously to present them as facts and thus mislead the users we have seen this trend in india to discredit the emv techno evm technology in retrospect these attempts generally prove futile as they can't withstand the facts on the ground as experienced by the citizens at large but their realization takes time and to a very large extent damage is done by that time it is inconceivable that the social media platforms are unaware of such deep fakes or or are not competent of unleashing algorithm power and ai tools to block or at least not show fake ones prominently during search on the subject as much as verified official versions do not even get reflected or go down in the search results this denies even a level playing field to the officially verified versions it doesn't come along with the fake ones the question arises as to whose primary responsibility is this can blatant and system detectable fakes be allowed to be loaded in the first instance and retained whose onus is this should the system wait for the victim to raise red flag detect such deep fakes it is very difficult to imagine such situation if the same analogy is taken by enforcement agencies that they would act they would not act unless crime is reported to them intelligence and prevention is not their responsibility the global media platforms ought not to be in an adversarial relationship with emvs yes as the responsibility to protect the free spaces including free speech is co-shared the realization that deep fakes make job of pmvs much more difficult needs to dawn and self correction affect it the election integrity cohort has positioned this meeting to recalibrate and balance the focus and assessment of the role of deep fakes in election managements worldwide friends the emvs yes generally and eci in particular are uniquely placed with plenary powers to select and implement technologies in their process outside government control and spaces yet the sheer complexities of tech options does clutter such free spaces therefore in this conference we continue our search for the powerful balanced approach which may manifest as a balance between legacy tech flow platforms and data and new trajectory especially in the field of security of the databases which we all maintain as team participants we are looking forward to hear and learn from you all in these three sessions covering the whole gamut of technology and election space during these two days and i am very confident the deliberations in this conference would immensely be able to add to the body of literature and help election management bodies to identify issues to strengthen the position and capacity of emvs thank you very much a very nice stay in delhi and also again a very warm welcome to our national voters day on 25th and our republic day parade on 26 thank you very much